If you could coach a player from the past, who would that be and why? I would say Artie Beetson would have been uh, the player that I would have liked to have coached. You know, an absolute raw talent. Look, one of my all-time favourites, and I was fortunate enough to play with him, was Cliffy Lyons. Uh, still easily the best ball player I've ever seen. Why well, I'd like to coach him because, I don't know, just sit back and watch the points accumulate. Uh, and he's, he was a bit of fun as well. If I could have the ability to coach Bob Fulton or Tom Radonikas for a year, for me that would be one hell of a privilege. You know, it's not that far back, but probably Jonathan Thurston, um, just because I think the ability, not so much what I could offer him, but, you know, what he could offer me. Ooh, I always, uh, always looked up to Bradley Claude, I guess, as a young bloke coming through the Canberra Raiders, just the way he trained and how he went about the way he played. Billy Smith would be the, the guy I'd love to coach. He had a bit of larrikin about him. He was just such a, a clever player. Played with him a fair bit, but Terry Lamb would have to be the player because he's he was such an inspirational player. Um, you know, he was only, wasn't all that big, but um, he was big in heart. I would love to have coached Gene Miles or, you know, obviously Wally Lewis was a, a terrific player too. Two players that stand out for me, um, and it's Andrew Johns and Denny Badiris. Loved everything they stood for as players uh, on and off the field, you know, ultimate competitors and certainly knew how to, um, you know, get a, get a team a win. It'd have to be Stephen Menzies, yeah, cause I still haven't forgiven him for stealing my Doc Martens <laughs> that I won as a Man of the Match award in 1987. <laughs> Very good answer. Just to talk and to him all over again. Yeah. Hammered. Uh, I'd like to hammer his wallet more than his uh, fitness.